arguably colleges are the most dynamic type of institutions in Canada. Over their 40-year history, they've been very responsive to uh, community and industry needs. And as of late, university-based engineering has become more and more theoretical in nature, which leaves us with a large gap between the very practical nature of trades and technicians on one side, and the very theoretical approach that engineers and scientists take. And when you look at it, a technologically advanced society needs to be excellent in all areas of the technological knowledge spectrum. And that's where the new paradigm for colleges comes in. We now engage in applied research, in practitioner-based innovation, in integration, product development, and quality control. It's already very clear that this new role for colleges in Canada is bringing a lot of benefit to our sector. Not only do we provide our local companies with wonderful opportunities to engage in productive partnerships, we also bring opportunities for our faculty members to find new ways to engage in applied research projects and finally, most importantly, we're giving our students access to job opportunities, new projects, new technologies that ordinarily wouldn't be on the table for them to work on. CARI stands for Center for Applied Research and Innovation at Camosun College. It encompasses all applied research and innovation that happens at the college. And we have two centers. One is called VICAMP and the other is called SPIN. VICAMP focuses on advanced manufacturing and prototyping for local industries, while SPIN focuses on sports innovation technology development. Our goal at VICAMP is to provide local industry with, with leading edge technology and equipment that they may not otherwise have access to. When it came to finding a partner to help us produce molds, large and precise as we needed, it turned out that VICAMP was our best option at Camosun. So the first stage in the process is to uh, come up with a blank piece of stock that we machine the parts from and uh, Camosun is actually capable with their machine of doing almost any material but we opted for medium density fiberboard and what we do is we laminate it up into a big block which is then shipped to Camosun and loaded into the machine and then the parts are completed from that. Here's an example of one of the molds after it comes out of the CNC machine and uh, as you can see the finish is almost perfect. It almost requires no sanding in order to uh, in order to move on to the next stage. Here's another example. This this was actually a very complex part and a very large part that was done um, a couple of weeks ago. And this is the top of a fuselage, and it's in the middle of being prepared. You can see we just give it a quick sand after we've sealed it. So what would normally take us months to do actually takes us on the order of uh, a week to finish. So we're really happy with the way it's turned out. We are well positioned to help our local companies gain access to a wide range of world-class leading applications. Colleges are implementing technology solutions for a wide range of companies and bringing that benefit back to our campuses. I would never have heard about this or knew about this had it not been for, I guess, the relationship with Vicamp and Quaternary Aerospace and me attending Camosun. My co-op term at Petro Barrier gave me the opportunity to help design the next generation in groundwater protection equipment. My courses at Camosun College have prepared me so that I was able to assist them with both the technical design and drawings, as well as doing some applied lab work that helped verify the findings they were getting from outside sources. This is a storm drain protector that we have developed to protect storm drains from contamination by hydrocarbon oils. It consists of several pads. These pads allow water to pass through, but if any oil passes into the system, the oil will react with the absorbent that we have in these, this honeycomb type and the oil will be filtered out and eventually when sufficient oil goes through the, oil, the absorbent material will change into a gel and a solid and prevent any of the oil from passing through and prevent any of the water from passing through as well. The Sport Innovation Centre here at Camosun is working on some incredibly interesting projects. Our partnership with the Canadian Sports Centre Pacific is giving us access to a wonderful range of new ideas. As examples, we're working on new technology to develop chairs for wheelchair athletes, we're working on state-of-the-art wireless sensors, all designed to enhance the understanding of how the human body performs in a variety of sport and other activity applications. And finally, we're working on a whole new range of motion capture systems that give us a wonderful insight as to how the human engine moves in a whole variety of applications. We have sensors attached to, to the seat here that allows us to determine the seat position uh, very precisely. 
In addition to that, we have a sensor placed in the handlebar that allows us to measure the forces placed on the handlebar by an athlete. The national rowing team trains at uh, the Pacific Institute for Sports Excellence and it's up to uh, the Sport Innovation Center to help them develop new technologies that will help them get the edge over other countries. The future indeed does look bright for Canadian colleges, in particular for Camosun. With the federal government's increased investment in applied research and technology at Canadian colleges, Camosun is now in an excellent position to bring that new investment to full advantage for industry partners and also to bring our faculty and students into the 21st century.